hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so guys in this video i will show you how to fix this app cannot be installed because its integrity could not be verified so guys when you try to install any app in your iphone or ipad and you will see that unable to install error in your device i will help you how can you fix this problem and how can you install that app easily without this error so let's get started without wasting any time first of all guys you need to open your settings Make sure that you have connected with strong internet connection. If your connection is weak, then you need to change your Wi-Fi. Or if you are using mobile data, select 4G or 5G network on your device. And guys, now you need to scroll it down, click on general. And from here, you need to set your date and time on automatically. And after this, you need to check your VPN connection. If you have connected any kind of VPN, then you need to disconnect your VPN. And now guys, you need to go back so guys after this you need to click on transfer or reset iphone click on reset and you need to reset your network settings and guys now simply you have to go back so guys now you need to check for software update and you need to update your iphone to latest ios version and guys now you need to go back so guys as you will see after going to back simply you need to open your settings again and uh, here from here you need to scroll it down and here you will see the option of screen time click on it and guys now you need to click on content and privacy restrictions and you need to remove all the restrictions from here and guys after this you need to check that your problem will be fixed so guys if still not fix your problem no need to worry open your settings again scroll it down and from here you need to click on apps and now guys you need to find your safari browser so guys as you will see click on safari and scroll it down and now here you will see clear history and website data. So guys, simply you have to clear all the history and website data of your Safari browser. And guys, now you need to go back. So guys, after doing all these method, if still not fix your problem, then you need to download latest version of that app. And guys, after installing latest version, you will be able to fix your problem. So guys, hope you like this video. If you like this video, please do subscribe my channel. Thank you.